um, this is called the uh, uh, Hollywood Dogma Training System. Incorporate your whole existence into it. Your body, your mind, your spirit, oh, everything. Yeah. Okay, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Watch out, man. I'm trying to get to the gym, all right? So the number one question is, where is John Otis Hollywood? Uh, I don't know myself. That's the big mystery in the fitness world. John has been missing in action for, this is I believe the sixth week now, and nobody's heard from him since. And um, a lot of people are kind of getting mad and bashing him, but I don't, I, I don't look at him any differently. I think he's a great coach and he has a fucked up mind. And that is why, one of the reasons why uh, we started working together is because I knew he was, there was something going on in here that was abnormal, which is probably why he was such a good coach. The last I heard, he had a stroke. And see, I don't think you're, only John knows what's going on. And everyone else are just making assumptions and judgments. And as I said again, I don't look at him any less of a person than he is now than before. He's still a human being and I hope he's all right. And the funny thing is, I made a video about, about a month ago that said online coaching, for me personally, is even more beneficial than and effective than coaches in, that actually you know coach you in the physical world, like normal coaches that would go to the gym and spot you and talk to you about your wife and your kids and stuff like that. The lack of the presence make the presence even more omniscient, which means that John Aldous Hollywood, by not being there physically, doing my workout and doing my dieting phases he's there in the back of my mind he, he, he's in the background all the time and ironically two days after I made that video John Otis Hollywood disappeared okay now here's what's really trippy it really might fuck me really hard for a while apparently John hasn't even been around for the last six months I didn't know this but some people that were closer with John uh, knew that he had an assistant and his assistant's name is Kame Lam. Apparently Kame Lam has been replying for John because John was always busy, he's always had other things going on or he's depressed, he's going in a hospital, whatever the case is. Again, I'm not gonna judge. Lamkin has been replying John's messages. He's been doing everybody's report every one of John's clients report for the last six months. So I'll be like emailing, I think that was John and getting reports back week after week, getting the macros. And that was actually his assistant, Cam Lame, doing the, the reports. And it just happens that Cam Lame now doesn't even know where he is. Usually, Cam still knows where John is. But since the last MIA, which was pretty much official, because even, again, Cam doesn't know where he was. And now Cam has been taking clients from John and I'm one of those clients from John that is transferring to Cam. So Cam is my new coach. And the more I think about this, the more interesting it gets because as you know, John Otis Hollywood isn't even his real name. He uses the, the Bane character from Dark Knight as like his sort of go-to altered ego and Cam Lam who was replying for him doesn't show his pictures a lot either and he uses the logo of the hawk he was a phantom of a phantom an abstraction on top of another abstraction but when he came out on the other side it becomes sort of this as a result of a double negation became something that's very present and very positive because he is extremely interactive. He gave all his clients his number, his wife's number, and his assistant's number, and his assistant's girlfriend's number. So there's no way he can go MII. And I signed up Vita to, to be on the same program as me. And she's gonna cut. And this is her before the cut. And I'm excited to see what she looks like after the cut. And she's more dedicated than I am, a lot more actually. She's counting my macros for me. She's doing that right now where while we drive into the gym.
So I'm pretty happy because new coach, new start, I'm pretty excited. So the more I experience life, the more I realize that everything runs in cycles. You go through process of dying and being reborn over and over thousands and thousands of times throughout your life. Starting from the smallest elements such as yourselves dying and regenerating, the exhale and inhale motions of your breath, all the way to the birth and death of a star, to the big bangs and the big crunches, if there's such a thing, you know, cutting and balking, getting a girlfriend, being single. There are always synchronicities that manifest themselves through. So in a way, you experience the same thing over and over again with a little bit of a twist. Let me give you some examples. The first time that I hired John Lewis Hollywood, I had just gotten a new camera, the Canon Mark III. But that camera has been stolen. So for the last two years, I've been just filming with my GoPro and my iPhone. But now that I hired Cam Lamb, my new camera arrived. I've waited for two years to save up and find the perfect camera. And it's the Sony AS700 II Alpha. And I'm gonna film today's workout with it. And also the first time that I brought Vivian to America, it was her first time in America, we came here because we were trying to escape the Taiwanese mobs and the Taiwanese police for getting on the news, for having sex on the street on a, on a mattress. Hey, you call stupid shit art. You're a faggot. All right, man. So fuck you, Mr. Frank Yang, you narcissistic prick. Damn it. And this time around, Vida came to America for the first time in her life. After, also after we got on the news. And when me and Vivian was here, the Dark Knight just came out. Dark Knight Rises. And this time around was Superman versus Batman. And during the last cycle, we had this big black guy who comes into the house all the time as a plumber. And he sort of became part of our family and ate with us and everything. And this time around, there's another plumber. And he's a little bit smaller, but nevertheless... I just have to say, I agree with um, Matthew McConaughey when he said in True Detective that time is a flat circle. And you just kind of, it's kind of depressing. You just keep going back to the same thing over and over, like Nietzsche said. But every time that you go through a cycle, hopefully you make a little upgrade. Like, like BBC. Now it's double sided. <laughs> yes, 100. Yes, 100. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Man, I'm trying to get to the gym, alright?